Two men journey to the bars and restaurants of Scandinavia to find amazing beers, always with the same question. Hey, what's on tap? It's time to find out. I know, it is comforting. It is comforting. To, uh, to be on day three of, of the Advent. Christmas is, is approaching so fast. It is. Have you, have you, right around the corner, basically. I have, have, you, have so you many your, presents left to get. I have got zero Third presents. December, I have, no, no. have you uh, lit your candle for the first? I did. Oh, yeah. awesome. So we have one of those in the window at home. Nice. Yeah. I need to get... I, I well, we are at my house, so yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's right over there. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's not lit today, so yeah. I wasn't looking for it. Well, because today is not the first, right? So no, it's the third. Yeah. Exactly. You know um, your days. I do. Apparently, yesterday I did not. Apparently, you had no barley wine today yet. Uh, I have not. Well, we don't know what today's beer is. <laughs> well, that's um, true. It is. It's, well, it is. also that you, you haven't had barley wine today yet. Well, you don't know what I had for breakfast. Well, because you know the days so far, so you haven't. Well, had that's wine true. Yet. Well, you don't. Like I said, you don't know that I haven't had, didn't have barley wine for breakfast. No, that's since, how since I, you do know what day it is. Well, it is true. But I, I like <laughs> to start every day with a nice barley wine, don't you? I mean, yeah. That's how I start the morning is sugar and caramel. Yep. <laughs> So I'm on my way to diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> choo choo! It's, it's the, it's get the on the diabetes train. It's the American diabetes. dream. <laughs> so I, I I was tasked by, by uh, with bringing a beer from the the collection of Christmas beers. Yes, and I think I found one that I brought to the Christmas calendar. All right, but I can't really be sure. But I did bring a lot of bottles that are shaped a lot, not not necessarily bottles, a lot of packages that were shaped the same. Bottle right. shaped pack. So let's see if this bottle shaped package contains one of my beers. It's exciting. It does. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! And we're gonna need a uh, a Mom corkscrew. Mother. Yeah, a corkscrew. So Martin uh, makes us happy people. Uh, I knew that Matthias would be happy with this. Yeah. This is a Cantillon Gers 2014. Ooh. Um, so to answer the question we asked ourselves yesterday and two days ago, I brought some beers from the cellar to impress you guys. Right. Need new glasses. And I brought brought some beers that were available to buy. Okay. Like on a web shop or yeah, something. Yeah. Um, that I also th- thought would impress you. Yeah. Uh, in an attempt to make this, um, oh, yeah, I'm, uh, I, think, I think we're getting special glasses now. We have to get new glasses. We have to have, have, we have, to have nice glasses for this. Yes, yeah. the festive glasses. Fuck yeah! So the glasses we prepared weren't enough they, for they this not, beer. They were not festive enough they were for this beer. <laughs> yeah, they were too, were too ordinary and plain. So um, a thing about Cantillons, I found that some of the older ones, like. 2011 to 16 have bad corks where yeah. the liquid gets all across and this just looks so beautiful yeah because you can usually see like a ton of like black sludge on the bottom yes. of the cap yeah. if, if it is so but this one looks really nice I've been storing them really carefully such That's a good it. lambic boy he does he goes down he dusts his cellar every week yes mm-hmm. make sure mm-hmm. there's nothing that and I feed the spiders so that the yeah. spiders kill mold I, I don't know if that's true. It's probably not. Science. Science. I actually had a, a big bottle of 2014 Cantillon Gers not, well, a couple of months ago. Nice. Did you like it? It was fantastic. Then let's hope that this is fantastic as well. They usually are. Let's uh, keep the... Cinnamon? Yes. I think probably a little bit more. It's still a lot in the bottle anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, this smells. Ah, immediately some uh, some moldy cheese, <laughs> some f- b- b- barnyard, <laughs> farmyard, farmyard, funk. farmyard funk. Oh, this is lovely. Yeah, you guys are the are the the goes. I, I just I just knew that Matthias would get a smile on his face when we opened this present. <laughs> and isn't that what Christmas is all about? It is about it putting is, a smile it, on other people's it faces. Is, it's about oh, giving man. people things that you think that they're going to want and enjoy. Yes, it gives you joy yeah. to to give it to them. So when during uh, previous years, when the Christmas calendars, the commercial Christmas calendars, haven't really lived up to their hype. Well, yeah, I mean, there was, I mean, there was the. Um, Brewdog one was pretty good. The Brewdog, the two old ones have been been really good, yeah. and I think the Brewdog one was really good. Yeah, and then we all know what happened last year. Yes. Last year was a Oof. total fucking disaster. Oof. Yes, that uh, that kiosk one that was 
So and th- th- that's basically the reason why we're doing this thing yeah. this year. Yeah, well, we, we talked about doing it. We year. talked about doing it uh, last year, but just, then the, the we got lazy and yeah. was like, well, let's just do the kiosk one because it's yeah. it's it's there, and we were so like put off by it. We're like, well, you know what? Let's just do our own this year and see how it goes. Uh, so far, doing really good, guys. Yeah. All right. So, far so let's a, try. Cheers. Let's try it. Triple A calendar. Cheers. <laughs> It's the calendar other people are going to be jealous of. They can't be here. Ah! Uh, <laughs> yes. That is funky. Oh, I'm salivating so much. I love astringent. it. Astringent. <laughs> astringent is a good word for this. Yeah. Um, it smells a little bit like dusty. A lot of lambics yeah. smell slightly dusty. And then you know you 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 might be in for a treat when it comes to the flavor. So it is, b- it's bottled on June 2014. Nice. And it's got a very years old. Yes. It's got a nice tartness to you that catches it right in the back of the of the throat, kind of right in the cheeks, and makes you yeah. it'll mm-hmm. clench up a little bit. It um really makes your mouth water. It does. <laughs> like oh. It's like now I want like five more of these now. <laughs> yeah. So uh, either yesterday or two days ago. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you said that oh, it's going to be a, a alcohol heavy calendar. This one is a nice five percent. Right. Yeah. So we've had two fives and one eleven. So yes. That's, that's not too bad. No. So we're we're doing we're doing pretty good so far. Well, I hope we've been quite smart enough to just not bring heavy stuff. Well, I think the back half of the calendar is to be nothing but like 17% ABV beers. Yep. It's going to be all brewery stouts. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 all, yeah all the, I'm finally going to break out that Black Tuesday uh, yeah. from four years ago that's uh, well, then 20, uh, 20.3%. <laughs> I put my Black Tuesday in there as well. So. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. We <laughs> should have them back to back. Yes. We'll never know. It's, it's a gamble. <laughs> yeah. But we do have to have it on a Tuesday. Yep, yeah, we will. We'll have, to, we'll have to figure out what day the Tuesday is. And, it's really nice. Yep. Mm. It's funny like, because it's quite minerally as well. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's a good tasting yeah. note. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, so pleasant. I, love I gotta this say, beer. I yeah, I do too. I um, I kind of like for me, I kind of have a love hate relationship with Campion. I think sometimes they become a little overhyped. Yep. But I think just when it comes to their basic uh, like lambic here, it's just uh. It's just like it's hard to beat. Yeah. Especially when it's been aged out a few years. That's that's when I enjoy them the most as well. Is like when they have like about four or five years on them. Yeah. The classic Gus, then it's just fucking fantastic. Oh, so I, I even managed to hit your sweet spot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh nice. It was like four or five years and a bit more. I know we had the I think it was a two thousand and nine or two thousand and seven Gus when we were at Cantion in twenty 14, I think. Yeah. I can't, it probably was 2007. So also like five years old. Yeah. yeah. I think it was like seven years old. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we were there in 14. It was a 2007 guess. So it was ah. seven years old. Yeah. All right. Well, and that was like the best beer that we had for that whole trip. Nice. I think we had like, I don't know, four or five of them at Cantillon. I would say that this is not the best Cantillon Gus I've had. But it's yep. it's uh, it's solid. It it does the trick. Oh yeah. So Stefan, what would you give this beer? Um, I'm going to give this a a three seven five. Are you kidding? Nope. He's a, he's allowed his opinion. I'm not I'm not as hard. He's not as hard. I'm not as hard as boy you fanboy. If you don't like it, then no, I, I say <laughs> like it. I mean, it's still really good. I'm just not as hardcore fanboy for. My mixing goes as you guys are, like, especially on this. Disgrace. I know, I know. I so, am. with him being a disgrace, Matthias, what would you give this beer? I'd give it a five, because I'm going to like, whoa. whoa, whoa. <laughs> should have sucked that bottle, like, it'd be all cool. Big old green glass cool. I'm going to give it a five. Yeah. You are? Really? Yeah. Of course he is. Oh, I'm going to give it a 4.5. Yeah. Because I've had Cantillon Gus that were better, um, and I've had other Gus that were better. But it's exactly. a, it's a solid it's a solid. Uh, like, uh, when a guest tastes like this, it's always a fire for me. That that makes me happy to hear. Yeah. yeah. 
And that's also what Christmas is all about. Sharing in other people's happiness. I'm, Stefan. Yes. Look, dude, I am super excited for you that you think this is a five. Because five out of five beers are so rare. Fucking defined. Grumpy Gus over here trying to justify his ratings. No, I, I don't have to justify my rating. I am perfectly content in my uh, 325. So I don't know what you're talking about. Your rating sucks. I mean... It was a free 7.5, by the way. This, this 2.5 yeah. beer is amazing, guys. <laughs> I don't want to knock it. I think it's still just a, an excellent, excellent beer at a, a, a 1.25. So, I mean, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. So now, I'm, I'm swirling the bottle to get the, the, yep. the remainder. and um, You guys can help yourself. We, I do not. I will not detract from that. I will not feel slighted uh, that you guys are going to... Well, uh, I mean, you're not getting any anyway. Good. Yeah. I don't want any. I, I wouldn't even if you offered it to Oh, it's, it has sediments. It does. It's, it's, mm. Oh, there's a lot of sediment. Look at that. It's like there's a big rat turd on the side of that bottle. Look at that. That is nasty. Yep. Get it. <laughs> Stick a finger in there and fish mm. that out. Uh, so your glass is still uh, semi-see-through. Ours is now opaque, a, opaque. A cloudy, yeah. opaque, hazy. Yeah. No, it's still hazy goes. Hazy deliciousness. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Yep. The, the bottom sediment for me is always different. Yeah. In this case, I don't think it is as good as the, the beer because the effervescence and the bubbliness, mineraliness, fi- kind yes, of like faded fills out a bit. all of the taste buds. This one like lays quite heavily on the tongue. Yeah, it just goes poof. Yeah. Here it is. I think maybe for me it's a little too warm. I think if it was just a little bit colder, I'd too warm. This it's the perfect temperature. Is it? Yeah, it's right. a perfect guess. Okay, then. I stick with my 375. You're wrong. All right. I was wrong. And I will stick with my rating and uh, not make excuses. Uh, so fuck this beer. Fuck you guys and your horrible opinions. Eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> so until next time, guys. Enjoy day three. Yes. Uh, I, I enjoyed this beer, guys. This podcast is part of the Pod Syndicate Valley. For more criminally compelling shows, articles, and conversations, head to wearepodsyndicate.com.